How's Ken Owens? Is he likely to be fit for the first game? Uh, so he's uh, he did a lot of work out last week, which was really good. So again, presented into camp this week, and he's um, he's developing really well. We know that there's uh, still quite a few day, a few days towards that game. We've got a journey to go, so that assessment will be ongoing. So he's not he's not definitely fit for that first game. Um, the latest medical report is that he's progressing well, and um, we've got in terms of Jamie George, Rory Bestwick, two fully fit second rows. But now everybody's. Going, going well. So we want to assess uh, how the players go through the journey. So we fly tomorrow, got a long journey down there, and as with all players, we want to make sure that they are in great condition and good to go once we arrive in New Zealand. Is anyone else on standby, or are you happy just taking those no, guys? No, no, we're in, uh, we're in, the players are in really good condition. Ken's done really well, worked incredibly diligently at his rehabilitation and um, in good condition. And how's Sam Warburton again? Will he be fit to start? Yeah, train, then last week was training fully. Training. How are you feeling ahead of flying out there? Do you feel you've had enough time to prepare? Have you had the guys for long enough? Yeah, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling excited. It's a great challenge ahead. Um, I think everyone who's with us wants to get down there and get, get started. We know the, the games are going to come thick and fast down there, but that's um, it's one of the great challenges of this tour. In terms of the challenge that lies ahead, how big a challenge is it for you? Is it the biggest of your coaching career in terms of Facing all the super rugby teams and the All Blacks, three tests. Yeah, we know we know this is a demanding tour, and everyone's uh, preparing accordingly. We have got a fantastic group of players, a really exciting group of players. Uh, as forwards coach, the caliber and competitiveness of the players that I have work to work with here is brilliant. And I think that uh, what we need to do is, you know, we know we need to work exceptionally hard. We know we we'll have to play our best, but that makes the challenge really exciting. And physically as well, what are you expecting? Well, I think that physically the, the game is, is incredibly uh, demanding by the sense that we're playing against the, the best, we're going to play against the best team in the world, so we know we're going to have to be at our very, very best. But I say, I think we've got some players that have got some incredible talent, incredibly uh, physically competitive, and um, I think our, you know, our job as coaches is to make sure we, uh, we put them onto the field as well prepared as possible. To what extent have you started thinking about the first choice pack? How open is is the team sheet at the moment? I I haven't been thinking about the first choice pack. I'm thinking about a group of players that are all going to have an opportunity to play as well as they can and to then uh, appear in the test matches. And we've seen that this is a, these tours are demanding, and we know we're going to need every one of our players at the best, the top level to get the results we want. And Billy on Apollo, losing him, how big a blow was that? Uh, i really disappointed for Billy. He um, was a player clear worked closely with and he's worked very, very hard to develop as a player. Um, what we've got in James Haskell is a player of immense experience to join the group, um, immense experience at the international level, a player who's played super rugby, played with and against many of the players that we're going to be facing as we go on tour and a great character to have around the group and with the the back row forwards that we have I think we've got a great blend of players of, of great break, the breakdown experts of carriers of defenders line out forwards it, I think we've got a great blend of players there. Steve you've got a um, few players that joined up today that are coming off some pretty demoralising defeats in the final have you got any concerns about their mentality? Um, having being in the situation of finishing the season a loss, I think there could be nothing better than joining the Lions Tour where you then got this great challenge to head to look forward to. And I know each one of those players will be thinking the same. Yeah, rather than think about what's just happened, they've got these challenges ahead. So, um, no concerns whatsoever. Um, was it discussed at all today when they arrived? No, no. These players are now they're focused on being successful with, with, uh, with the Lions on this tour. And I think they're all very, very excited about the challenge ahead. Have you paid a close eye to the finals, looking at the first form? Yeah, I watch, watch all the games, as I always do, to make sure I um, keep uh, keep watching all, all the players and how they're going. And what's your approach to um, the various challenges you've got over the following week? So, you arrive on Wednesday, play Saturday. What are you going to do about jet lag? Well, I think we've got, um, as part of the staff, we've got um, a great strength and conditioning team with experts and uh, have done plenty of research into these areas. To, to mitigate all the different factors so that 
we uh, and the, lot, the players have got lots of experience on these long haul flights, so we're doing all the preparation before the flight, on the flight, and immediately after the flight to be uh, as well prepared as possible for Saturday. What's your normal personal approach to it? Do you normally try to get as much sleep as possible, or do you watch all the movies? Uh, or lineouts? I'm usually watching uh, a fair amount of rugby, but um, I follow the, the same advice that they're given about sleep protocols. And what, what's your personal emotion? Because you came close as a player to being a line, but it didn't happen now you're here when the polo shirt to pass to the Lions coaching staff. Does that help? Does it make up for the previous disappointment? Does it now feel like a completely different chapter? What, what, what are your um, to be honest, I don't look back an awful lot. I, where I'm concentrating upon is take lessons, learnings from everything I've done, but move on quickly. You know, and I did that each time, each time as a player, and just keep looking ahead. And that's the the beauty of being involved at this level of sport. Is there's always another great challenge just around the corner, and that's it's it's, it's exciting. I would keep looking at that next challenge, and what a brilliant challenge this is over the next six, seven weeks. There's been quite a long run up to the last talk in between four years in the making. Is it almost a relief that there's going to be some rugby fun to get going with? Well, I think everyone's keen to get down there. I think everyone's really looking forward. We're a brilliant country to go to, um, a country that has, is so passionate about this brilliant sport. And um, we have the opportunity to visit lots of different areas within the country, play lots of different grounds um, against lots of different teams. So I think everyone's really looking forward to this challenge ahead. The um, provincial Barbarians, the main first final squad for the game. Have you had a lot of time to uh, understand what challenges you'll face in that 15? Yeah, well, I, I certainly looking at the players to watch the games they played and to try and get an understanding of the players. Um, and it, it's always a balance about um, how much you're focusing upon the opposition, how much you're focusing upon yourself. So clearly, as coach, I'm looking at the opposition. Um, my primary focus is on, the, on making sure that our team is in the best. Uh, best preparation it can be for the game. And you mentioned about the excitement of getting down there. Does that make the stop off in Melbourne just kind of an unavoidable nuisance that you'd rather just get there? I think it's part of the, the optimum preparation as we, as we discussed about the travel. So that's that's the advice and I think that you know, we are about best practice. In terms of picking the team for this first game, Steve, does it have any impact the guys are coming in slightly later. Is there any plan to, to maybe give them a bit more time to hit the ground running and find their feet when you get over there? Or does that come into consideration? Well, clearly, I think one of the considerations has to be that the, the players that have had more preparation than others, and that's that, that's always a factor when you when you have a staggered entry into the squad, if that effective like this. We've still got a few days, um, obviously, before the squad's announced for the game. We've got the journey to go through. The medical and strength and conditioning team will be assessing all the players to make sure they arrive in New Zealand in the best uh, physical shape. And then the squad will be picked accordingly. Okay, good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Tomorrow? Uh, so Wednesday. What time? session six.